Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are jumping onto the ladder with Broly. Um, we are currently, th what, three wins away from our promotion games into God. Um, so, we're probably just going to sweat this for the next few matches, um, or the next few games that you'll see on the channel. It'll likely just be me playing meta, um, rather than meme decks or, or slightly off meta builds. You know, I'll probably just try and climb with Broly or Freezer or something. What, what I'm very tempted to do, because I have put together a Beerus list that I really like, um, so I might for the promotion games, I might just do it as one complete video. It could be long or it could be short depending on how well the ranked games go. But I might just do it with Beerus and just 100% those games with Beerus. Because um, I really enjoy the list that I've got together so far. Um, it's proven to be very, very strong. And, you know, earlier, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, I did a tier list with, uh, with Beerus and I did put it C tier. But I'm starting to change my mind on that a little bit. I think if you play the deck as a pure control deck and just not like any other red deck, which I know is kind of the idea behind the deck, but yeah, we, we can we can just put out small battle cards like Fua, for example. We you know we minus 15k, get the leader skill, we can absolutely clear most boards for that part. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably play like you know maybe some green up until we hit those promotion matches. Might even go back to Frieza. We'll see. Um, and then once we hit those promotion games, we'll just jump into... Oh, cool. So we've got 17. Um, once we hit those promotion games, we might just do it all in one go with Beerus. Um, this isn't awful, but we are going to keep. We do have Gohan to dig for the extra. We have Vegeta for the turn 4. It's not the worst. Um, we are probably just going to charge this. This this is in here more for um the long games where we play against like Frieza, red blue you know where we can kill those those pesky cards early off um what we're going to do is we're i always feel the need to goku first right and the reason for that being is that we are not going to be shuffling our deck in any way shape or form so the more cards we can draw before we do this um because if we draw into the um the ramp card destructive strength then we don't really particularly need to use Gohan. Um, but again, the more cards we can draw, you know, so like when we draw for turn, when we swing with leader, and then plus that Goku draw. So that means we've already dug past the three that this would have searched for by the time we do this. Um, I play a lot of 17 and 18. I hate this card. It's terrible. It's so bad for the deck. You don't need it. We're going to keep this just because we are playing Broly, um, and this is going to be a long game, so we're probably just going to charge this for now. Um, hmm, do we charge that, or do we charge this, actually? No, we'll, we'll charge this, actually. This isn't going to be that great for us. Um, so we've drawn, and now we do the lead swing. Again, we haven't hit. Unfortunate, but it means that all three of the cards that Gohan would have dug in the last game, or the last turn, sorry, they're already gone. So we're getting a, f a fresh perspective on three cards here. And we we still whiff. But we're going to grab this, because then we can do it again. Okay, there we go. Much better. Cool. So we've got our next turn set. Um, but yeah, so that, that it's just using your experience. Um, it's obviously different if you don't have the Goku and you don't have that ability to dig. It probably is just worth doing it. But... What you have to bear in mind is that if we are the turn one player, um, yeah, we're going to take. If we're the turn one player, we only we don't get a draw for turn, and we don't get a draw for the leader swing. So, in those earlier turns, you just have to be careful about when to play Gohan. It makes more sense to play Goku to draw one, and then in the next turn we get a draw for turn and we get a leader swing, which is three draws, and then we can put down the Gohan Childhood. Because if we don't hit the destructive strength in that time then we're fine anyway. It literally doesn't cost us anything. It costs us a turn to wait, but that's it. And then watch us ramp a super combo, because I hate these RNG ramps. Okay, good. Thank God. Uh, and then we can just pass, and then next turn we've got a Vegeta. And then, what we'll probably do, depending on if it's the Awakened turn, we'll probably just Gohan right off the bat, um, and just get ourselves back to 4. We're going to have to be careful because this is a, a 30k leader. Okay, so he's... I don't really get that, because he didn't have anything in drop. 
I think that was a huge misplay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's he dropped now? He's dropped another one cop. That's fine. Again, we don't care. We're we're sitting in the driver's seat. We're under no no pressure here. Uh, we're going to charge the Gohan now because we don't need to dig anymore. Um, we have all the pieces we need. If anything, all we're going to do is bottom deck super combos or 8 drops or the 6 drop androids. We don't need to dig anymore. So just be very mindful of that. Um, and obviously we have our 3 drop. Again, the misplay that he made. Always double check your drop to make sure you have the, the card for the ramp. So we ramp this. Hallelujah. Uh, we don't really... like. I'm not discarding my hand because me being the turn one player, I'm already at a hand disadvantage. He gave up his hand disadvantage by doing that. Um, so we, we're, you know, we don't need to, to do the effect. I don't care about these cantrips. They're not going to do anything in the long run. And if he wants to discard turn by turn just to clear our one drops, go right ahead. Like, go right ahead. We do not care. Um, we're going to use this... Okay, so we have our secret rare as well. So I think this turn we're likely going to be forced to awaken. Um, and then the next turn we just tap six. We just tap six, we play Gohan, we get our life back. And we're sitting pretty chill. You know, we're still... We'll be going into seven energy. Um, the Gohan just gives us our, our life back. We could theoretically use the leader skill to just get a draw and just, you know, it will cost us a turn, but look how far ahead we are in energy. You know, he's not getting to his Broly's anytime close to ours. Did he whiff off a top 10? Surely not. Oh, he did! That is wild! I'd love to see his hand right now to see if he had any in hand. Because I've seen people do this and I've went back and watched the games where they've used the Jiro because they didn't want to use the one in hand for some reason, and I don't get it. I really don't. Um, we're just going to get rid of our Vegeta. We don't need all of these. Actually, no, it's a 10k combo, so let's maybe get rid of our... Actually, no, we'll keep that. Um, okay, so we're, we've not been forced to awaken. Once again, it's fine by us. So we're at 7 energy, um, I honestly think we just dropped this, kill his Vegeta. We could have dropped the Goku and just kept it on board, um, and got the ramp anyway. It really wouldn't have mattered. But what we're going to do is we're going to swing 20k at him, and we're just going to, he's going to have to awaken, um, so he'll probably just combo off one of these, that's fine. And then I think when we swing the Gohan, we'll probably put two of the cantrips on it, so we'll make it a 40k. Actually, we could go all three of them, because a super combo in this gets them out, so we'll do all three. So we'll make it 45, we'll just make it a bit more punishing for him to get out. Or he takes. Either or. If he takes, we're sitting very, very happy. Because, you know, we're he's going into 5 energy, we're going into 8. I really want to go back um, after this and watch at this stage of the game. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. So this is us at 6 and he was at 4, right? I want to know if he had the Jero's Lab in hand. Because with that many cards in deck, it's wild that he whiffed on that. And I have seen it before where people, instead of just playing the one in hand, because for some reason... The math in their brains, like, well, I don't want to give up this card from hand, and it's, I, I just don't get it. I've seen it, I've seen it at least once, maybe twice before, when I've went back and watched these games, because I'm always interested in watching other players play 17 and 18, and I'm always curious to see if their deck whiffs. Why? Because it rarely happens to me. See, he's charged one. He's charged one. Did, did he have it? Or did he just draw that? Or did he get it from life? I don't know. We're gonna have to go back and figure this out. I might do it on, in this video, just to see. Because that is wild. We're fine with them clearing board here. It really doesn't matter. 
If he swings 30 into 30, if it's just 30, we'll protect, but if he puts... Yeah, so he puts a 10 on, which we'll protect, of course. No reason not to. And then we're just going to start slapping him in the face with Broly's over and over and over and over again, and the game's pretty much done. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I don't really know. I don't know what to say, guys. That was just a weird one. Um... I'm actually just going to combo this, we'll make it a threat. I think when it comes to the turn we awaken, we really don't need it. So we have a lot of zero keys in hand. But again, he's not dealing five damage in this next turn. And in typical green player fashion, big boy, pop that, that's another dead card in hand. So the unfortunate part is we don't actually have a lot of cards in hand to protect this. Um, not that he, he's going into his Broly, but if he's going into like his his androids, for example, you know, 40 into 45 doesn't leave us a lot of a cushion, and we have like dead cards left and right. Then we just pass. <laughs> look at all this. Look at all this deadness. This wild. We have two cards in hand with combo power. I just want to, it's the only thing I want to go back and check. I just want to go back and see what happened when he played the Juro. That's it. If he didn't have the, the lab in hand, it just got insanely unlucky, right? That's all it is. Giving us value, we'll take it. Okay. I suppose he's got nine cards in hand, but he's gonna tear through them this turn. Uh, yeah, charge that. I mean, we could just play this and end his misery, literally. Um, but there's no point. We just we'll just eke it away. We'll just go slowly, eke him down. Good God! What <laughs> these draws, man? And the thing is, as well, is that we have a destructive strength to put on one of these eight drop swings. So, I mean, the game's over. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it intelligently. I wanted to show you how you should look to win your matches. So you always want to start low to high. Um, so now we're swinging for thirty. If he takes one, we're fine with it. Um, we honestly don't particularly care. He just, he won't combo out of all three of these attacks before we put this down. It's just unfeasible, honestly. Yeah, I believe it. And if he does, we just put this out. And then, here we go. See if we draw a dead card again. Okay. 
there we go. So we knew that was coming. I honestly knew he'd surrender there. Um, I want to go back, right, when we get back to this main menu, we're going to go have a look at that game. Um, and we're just going to have a look for that Javel moment. Because I'm so curious. So battle record, and then details, and replay playback. Right, let's, let's have a look at this. So he's level 18, so he was he was a relatively new player as well. Right. Unfortunately, we can't just pick when it happens, so we're just going to fast forward. Nothing really happened. We're, we're green players, nothing really happened in those early turns. Uh, we'll also show hand, just so we can see. So he has the three cost here. I just want to know if he draws into it. Like, if we'll know by that point. See, this is the thing, right? So I'm just going to pause. This card here is so bad for this. Because it's a top 5 search and it only adds a 17 and 18, we don't know if he hit 2 or 3 of his labs between these cards. This is why I hate this card. It's such a bad, bad, bad card for the Android deck. Um, at least with Gohans, we can kind of filter our hand a little bit, or at least filter the time that we look to play this, like I was explaining in that game, where... You Goku first, and then you draw for turn, leader swing, and then that's all three from that Gohan search gone. So you're getting a fresh perspective on another three cards, right? For me, that's the better way to play that. With this card, there is nothing like that. Because it's just a top five for a 17 and 18, it doesn't even search the extra. It's a terrible, terrible card. Like, anybody who's running Androids and playing this card, cut the goddamn card. It is terrible. No. So I have a feeling he didn't have it. Like, I, I don't think he had it. Um, theoretically here though, like this was a terrible play, right? Using the Vegeta on this turn, he should have just used this, right? You always want to establish the lab before you establish Vegeta. Always, right? So depending on what those bottom decks were, um, I mean, I would have done it this turn. Again, it looks like he whiffed anyway, but this is the turn I would have looked to have done that. And then the following turn... You still have your energy marker, and you're going into four energy, which means that Vegeta costs you nothing. And this is in drop for the Vegeta play. That's how he should have done it. But this was terrible. I don't know what he was doing here. He's obviously just... He's either new to it, or he just made a mistake. Yeah, still no. So he, he doesn't have one. Yeah. There we go. We, we can leave now. Um, he obviously just whiffed. But, yeah, he didn't have it at this stage. Very unlucky, but again, I don't know how many of them he bottom decked off of this. This is the big thing, because if you bottom deck one or two off of this, you can never use that Android safely. Never. And that's the big difference in your deck build, right? That's what you have to be doing. You're sacrificing... Your, the only cards you can add from these are your six drops, um, this one, which you really shouldn't be playing... The two drop, and then this android, and then the other, the, the four cores, which are the, the big ones, right? But they do not give you benefit in the earlier turns by having these. It literally gives you nothing. Just get rid of this this card. If you're running androids and you have this card, stop. Your deck consistency will skyrocket when you cut this card. I've tried it. It was terrible. Um, But yeah, it, it, it was unlucky. He didn't, he didn't have it, and... Yeah, he, he whiffed, which sucks. And then, obviously, the Vegeta misplay as well really, really cost him. But, guys, that's it for the video today. Um, I'll go over the deck list. Nothing's changed from the brother list, I don't think. Um, I'll just quickly show you it so you can have a, a little peek through yourself. The only card I'll go over is this Big Bang Attack. Um, I like it as a two-of instead of running the instant Kamehameha's. I like it as just a way for us to kill a five cost. So, you know, when we're going into our five energy... Eh, sorry, our eight energy... Our opponent's likely going to be on five so if we get to our broly first before they get to their five drop our next turn we go into nine so we can tap one kill their five drop and now we have another broly on board because that's nine energy between the two so keep that in mind guys it is just something i like i, I do like this card I, I don't think i see a lot less running it at all but for me i like it i think it's a good card um but yeah Guys, let me know if you enjoyed the video, um, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.